Hey everybody, today is Friday the 13th, Friday, October 13th, 2023. So um, what's on the agenda for today? Well, I just dropped my son off at school and now it's time to do some some errands. And by the way, yes, it's it's cold, it's cold outside today. I got the, the hoodie on, I got my hood up, I got my heavy jacket on, I got my my glove mitten combo thingies on. It's It's been cold in the mornings. The, uh, the cold weather is, it's, it's coming. It's getting to the point where in the next like month or so, a couple, just a couple of weeks from now, it's gonna start being cold just all, all day long. Now it's only in the mornings, but the cold weather is, uh, it's, a, it's a coming. So anyway, so what's on the agenda for today? I've got errands to run. I got things to do. It's gonna be a very busy, day a lot of packing has to be done today i um i've got i've got stuff to do because i'm heading down to florida florida tonight and getting ready for the the big move to florida which isn't isn't happening until like march of next year but um i got stuff to move down there so i got some packing to do got some errands to run have some stuff to i got the uh, post office to go to got to go to target lots of things to to do today as much as i would love to go see something historical i can't put the camera on as much as i would love to go see something historical or take you guys to see something interesting or weird or a roadside attraction today i am busy today we have errands so um i guess uh let's head out to the uh the post office i actually have patreon postcards to send out yeah i'm a, I'm a little late with that I also feel like I was gasping for air the entire time. I was, I was just filming that. So not only is it just cold out, so my my uh, lungs haven't gotten used to the cold weather yet, but I came down with a cold. Um, the, the other, what, like a week or so ago, I think I told you guys in the video, oh, I have a cold. I did not have a cold. It was just my allergies acting up by the um, by like an hour later. I was feeling just fine, but um, now I definitely have have a cold, which means breathing, not the easiest thing to do at the moment. All right, that feels better. Back in um, normal garb once again. So yesterday I actually came out to the post office to drop off a whole a whole tub of packages, a bunch of orders that were going out only to, um, to then realize I never brought the postcards with me, the Patreon postcards, I left them at home. I'm already like 13 days late sending them out. And I, or I, yesterday I was 12 days late sending them out. And I still forgot to bring them with me yesterday. And then um, on top of that, I got two more orders that came in late last night that I had to, um, to fill to make sure they get out before I head to, um, to Florida. So essentially what I'm trying to say is coming out to the post office yesterday, waiting in line. Thankfully, there's no, there's gonna be no line today, but um, going to the post office yesterday, waiting in line to get packages sent out. like so kind of at the last minute because I, I wanted to make sure they all went out. Was a complete waste of my time. Well, so much for... Uh, for not waiting in line, there was a lady who, who was ahead of me actually already inside there who had about 100 packages, all of which were hand written out, which if you don't know what that means, that means when the, um, when the post office has to put that information into their computer, they have to hand type every single, every single package has to be hand typed into their, their system. It takes forever. That's why I use stamps.com. Stamps if they want to they sponsor me, I'd be, I'd be more than happy to because I use stamps.com all the time. My packages are, are ready to go. I literally just take them in, they scan them. It takes like four seconds. Even if I have a, a huge pile of packages, they scan them all. I get a receipt showing that they were sent and um, I'm on my way. I'm usually in and out of a post office in like two minutes. It's, it's very, very quick for me. Today though, not so much because of a lady with a thousand packages. I know I keep upping the number, but with a lady with 4,000 packages that all had to be manually hand typed in that was fun we're off to a good start today um let's go to target all right so um the reason why i need to stop out at uh, target today of course i mean i'm always at i'm always at target do i do i ever really need a reason to stop out at target in fact i was just in a target i think i think yesterday and maybe the day before that is i'm i live at target anyway the reason why we're here today is because i feel like i should probably get some cold medicine i don't normally take cold medicine but i've got a long drive ahead of me so I, sh I should probably take something i have no idea what to take because again i don't usually take cold medicine I'll, I'll figure something out i don't i don't know if there's any new movies that came out that i want that i want to pick up maybe, maybe there's something 
I want to grab? I don't know. Maybe not. I bought some new stuff just recently from from Walmart. That might be good. Maybe I'll pass on movies. I I don't know. But um, today is a, a national holiday. And I'm thinking for said holiday and for the for the road trip, there is something I should definitely pick up. So like I said, when it comes to uh, cold medicine, I have no idea what it is I'm looking for. I don't normally take medicine for this kind of thing. I just let colds naturally go away. I know I should probably take something to uh, to help with the symptoms, but I just, I never, I never do. So I contacted Danielle and she informed me I need Tylenol, Tylenol cold and flu severe. I don't, I don't know. I don't, um, oh wait, I was gonna say, I don't see it, but I, I do see it. It's right, it's right here though. Wow, that's a tiny little pack and um, it has day and night. I don't want the nighttime stuff. I don't, I don't need to feel drowsy while I'm, uh, while I'm driving. So I guess the, uh, the, the generic, right? The generic, um, Target brand stuff would be good, I think. It's a little cheaper as well, like a dollar or so cheaper. So, um, I'm gonna say this is good. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take this stuff right, right here. I, I have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to taking medicine. I'm a stubborn old man. I don't, I don't need this stuff. I really do not want to go off on another rant, but like, I mean, it, I honestly hate coming to Target during the day because I just, I, I hate the sound of restocking. I hate seeing restocking. I hate not being able to walk up and down certain aisles because of, of restocking. Look at, I mean, there's, there's stuff everywhere. The entire, the entire store is just full of, of those red carts of people restocking. I just, I mean, again, I do get it. It's, it's Target being cheap and using their employees to, to restock it during the day instead of paying people to restock at night. I, I get it. But, I mean, you think of like a multi-billion dollar company. Wouldn't need to have that going on. All right, so anyway, enough with the, uh, the ranting. So um, today is a, a national holiday and I'm thinking I need something to celebrate that national holiday. It's National M&M Day and I, I love me some some M&Ms, big fan of peanut M&Ms. Regular M&Ms are okay as well. Not, not such a big fan of regular M&Ms, but I, I, do love the, uh, I do love the peanut ones. Not really a fan of cookie crunch. I, I never really got into the whole peanut butter M&M thing. There's mini M&Ms. The ones I enjoy, ooh, caramel M&Ms. I don't know, do I like, I never had a caram caramel caramel M&M. That's, um, that's tempting, but the ones I like the most are right here, almond. M&M's. I'm going to get myself a, a pack of almond M&M's to celebrate National M&M Day. And um, I can munch on these on the way down to Florida. These will be gone in the next like day and a half. I'm, I'm telling you right now, but um, I'm buying M&M's today. I'm, I'm using the holiday as an excuse to buy junk food, you know, to, to help with my cold. So I'm just walking through the Halloween stuff because I mean, why would I come to Target and not walk through the Halloween aisles? And I realized I never got my son a, um, a carvable pumpkin. I never picked him up one. I, I meant to do that and completely forgot. Those ones right there are not the, not the carvable ones. These are just the um, the ones you can paint on. These down here, well, at least this one here is a, is a carvable, carvable, carvable one. But um, A, it's, it's tiny. I like to get him the ones that are like that size. And B, it's blue. He had a blue one last year and says he doesn't want a new blue one this year. He wants a different color one this year, which makes sense. I never got him one and they're completely out of the regular ones. Shoot. Um, I'm not gonna do it today, but sometime between now and, and Halloween, I gotta find him a carvable pumpkin. Shoot, I, I failed as a father. Wait a minute, hold on. No, we actually might be good. I think they have some over here. These are the carvable ones, right? Um, they, oh my gosh, they are. Okay, we, whew, all right, we, we are good. So over by the, uh, the carving tools and all the different pumpkin decorating things. They do have the carvable pumpkins. Wow, fifteen dollars for a for a carvable fake. Pump. I just like to, I just like to, I just like to use the word carvable. But um, anyway, so um, fifteen dollars for a a car. See, look at that carvable faux pumpkin. That seems uh. Seems pricey. I'm thinking ten dollars tops, right? It doesn't matter. Whatever. The cool thing about these are you can use them forever. You, you carve them once, and you just you just have them. They don't rot. They don't go bad. You put them in storage, and every year you can get these out and um, look at your 
your child's child's pumpkin from uh, from years past. So, all right, I'm buying a fifteen dollar pumpkin. Well, the good news is I did not fail in being a father. I did get the uh, the pumpkin, but the bad news is I did fail in picking up a cart. I, I did not I did not think I was going to need a cart, and now I feel as though I I probably should have grabbed one. Look at all the cool Halloween stuff they have here. This this is why the Halloween section is is dangerous. I I walk into it just to see what they have. You never know. Could be some cool, interesting Halloween things. And then, yeah, you find cool, interesting Halloween things. And then you realize if you want those cool, in interesting Halloween things, you have to spend money. You have to buy them. And that's when I just walk away because I I don't have money. I, I blow it all on $15 pumpkins. I guess it's a good thing I no longer collect Funko Pops because if I did still collect Funko Pops and I wanted to look through them, I... I couldn't. I could not look through the Funko Pops. There's there's carts in front of the Funko Pops and in front of the the TVs, you know, in front of the merchandise that people come into the store to to buy. I just I could, I could rant all day about this, and I might. All right. So again, anyway, what uh, what new movies have have come out? Oh yeah, there are. N See, I'm still I'm still so used to looking for movies up front. They don't have them over here anymore. They have them off to the side, and it looks like. They don't, oh, oh ah, well, okay, hold on. They have the new Transformers. That I don't have yet. I was gonna say, it looks like they don't really have anything. And honestly, I think Transformers is the only new thing they have. All this stuff is, um, I think titles they had like the last couple of weeks or like as of last week. I honestly think the only thing new this week is the um, is Transformers, which again, I, I don't have. Would not mind grabbing the the 4K, but I mean, it's it's Transformers. I won't be watching that anytime soon. I, I want to watch it, but I'm, I'm, I'm behind on like the last two Transformers movies or something, so I need to get caught back up. Um, I feel like I should just wait until that comes to like the video game movie dome or something and buy it off of, off of Pamela or something like that. I should wait, right? I'm buying a $15 pumpkin. I shouldn't buy a $30 4K. Nope, totally should not be picking up a $30 4K, right? Right? I, I, should, I should definitely not be picking up a $30 4K that I could get for essentially free with store credit at the video game movie dome in probably a month from now. I won't even get around to watching this movie until a month or two or three from now. I should totally, totally pass on a $30 4K. Right? And just for those of you who maybe somehow don't know, yes, I, I am picking up the... Uh, the Transformers 4K. I'm, I'm buying it. I'm also checking out some of the um, the Switch games here. Look at this, the Sonic Origins Plus. That is awesome. I also heard the uh, Disney Illusion Islands pretty good. There's the new Zelda, the new Detective Pikachu. And this is why I don't have a Switch of my own. This is why my son has a Switch, but I don't have a Switch. I know you're thinking, but it, isn't it the family's Switch? Can't you use the Switch? Yes, I do a couple of games for it, but I don't have my own personal Switch, like in the library or something like that, because if I did, I'd be buying those games. And I know better than to buy Switch games because it's expensive. I want those games, they're awesome. I'm not going down that road. But I could go down the road of buying a whole bunch of Bluey things. Oh my gosh, look at all these. I love Bluey. If you guys um, have not seen the show Bluey, watch it. Whether you're a kid or an, an adult, it's, it's a show for everybody, it's amazing. And I'm digging these figures here. Look at those. I, I kind of want these. Look look at that. Those are awesome. I, I feel like I need, I need, not I want, I need Bluey figures for the library. Again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass on them at, at 16 bucks a piece for now. But at some point I want Bluey characters for the library. And now I'm walking through the, uh, the Disney section. Something else I don't need to do. I'm literally leaving for, for Florida. T tonight, I'm, I'm going to be heading down to Disney. I'll be I'll be going to the parks at some point. I'll be I'll be seeing all this stuff in the parks. Why am I looking at it now? Though this jacket is awesome. Look at that, like the Oogie Boogie down there. Oh my gosh, the Oogie Boogie, like candy tray here. That's amazing. Of course, the the Mickey pumpkin is awesome. Again, why am I looking at this now? I'll be seeing this in a couple of days at the parks, and I won't be buying it there either. Wow, apparently the cold and flu medicine I bought is pretty hardcore. They, um, they carded me for it. I scanned it at the, um, the self-checkout kiosk and a team member had to come over and ask what my birthday was and see my ID. 
what, what am I taking? Again, I don't normally take medicine, so I don't, I don't know, but how hardcore is it that I have to be carded in order to take it? What, what's inside it that um, I need to be carded for? Comments down below. What, what am I about to put into my body? I'm a little nervous now by, um, by taking this stuff because apparently it's, it's extreme and I, I have to be carded. I can't, I can't drink alcohol, buy cigarettes, or, or buy cold and flu medicine. It's in the same realm as, um, as cigarettes and, and alcohol, apparently. Yikes. All right, so now the, uh, the question is, what am I gonna do for the next, I don't know, half hour or so? And I say that because it's about 10.30 now. Food places aren't open yet. That doesn't really happen for another half hour. Once um, 11 o'clock rolls around, I can actually get some, some lunch and I am starving. I, I did not eat breakfast. I thought about, actually, I don't normally eat breakfast, but today I actually thought about getting some and then just, I didn't. So now I'm, I'm quite hungry, but again, I have about a half hour until anything really opens up and I don't want to go home and then go back out. So I've got a half hour of time to kill and I don't know what to do to kill it. I, I, I honestly don't know. All right, well, that just killed a little bit of time. Um, today's actually Ancestors Day. I completely forgot about that. So I thought, you know what? Why not stop off and see my uh, my father's grave, which I haven't actually done yet. Got to go over to that. But um, I then, then remembered, since I am moving, there were some things I had to take care of here at the, um, at the actual cemetery. Things like address changes. And um, basically, I just I had to ask them a bunch of questions about things like address changes and, um, and things like things like that. I had to, had to ask them some questions about me moving and what that was going to entail and being buried still out here at some point in Pennsylvania. So I've got that all taken care of. Now I'm going to go look at my, my father's grave, pay my respects. And then, and then by the time I'm done doing that, it's definitely time for a, um, I'm thinking steak sandwich. So again, like I said, today is ancestors day. And I figured why not come out to the cemetery and, and pay my respects to my father, see the grave of my father. I kind of have mixed feelings about um, not coming out here all that often. Part of me is like, well, I should come out here. I should visit my father's grave. But then the other part of me is like, but why? Like, wh like what, what would it do? It's not like I have forgotten my father. It's not like by not coming out here, I have forgotten him. My brother and I love my father very much. We absolutely, absolutely remember my father. So by not coming out here, it's not like I'm forgetting him. So I don't, I don't know, but uh, just figured I'd come out here and, and see my my father's grave on Ancestor Day. I'll actually be buried right, right next to him, right here someday is where I'll be. If you wanna come out and, and visit me someday, I'll be, I'll be right here. And if I don't stop eating steak sandwiches, it'll be sooner rather than later probably, but that's what I had to come here to talk to about my, my cemetery plot right there. <laughs> that, you, wanna, you wanna talk about feeling old? That makes me feel old right there, knowing that I have a cemetery plot. That makes me feel old. There's um, there's other people out here as well, like Richard and Bertie. I think those were my, maybe, I see, I, I honestly don't know who all these people out here are. Maybe they were like great grandparents or, or something. Elvin was my, was my, uh, my grandfather. I never met him. He passed away in 1961. So before I was born, he passed away when my, when my dad was pretty young. So Elvin was my grandfather. Peggy was my, my aunt's my dad's my dad's sister and then we have uh, florence which was my my grandmother she she is buried here as well then there's some more angles i know um our our family is is eisenhower it's cottrell it's angle it's a bunch of different names so i'm not entirely sure who george and um and l george george r <laughs> it's weird george r and l amanda so i guess she went by her middle name I'm not entirely sure who, who they are, to be completely honest with you. I'm not, I don't know, I guess they were Freemasons, so there are Freemason um, symbols on their, on their markers. So anyway, like I said, I wanted to come out here, just pay my respects to my father, to the rest of my family. And I'm gonna have to do some, um, some research, because I gotta find out who, again, Richard and Bertie are, and George and Amanda are. I'm not entirely sure. All right, guys, so stood there for a while, paid my respects to uh, my dad and my grandmother and my aunt and my, my grandfather and the other relatives that I'm not entirely sure of who they actually are. But um, yeah, that it, it just it puts you it puts you in your place. Not, I mean, not necessarily visiting my visiting my family's grave puts me in my place. It's visiting my grave. It's no, it's knowing that while I look at my dad's grave, knowing that right next to it 
is my grave and I'll be there buried there someday. That, that puts you in your place. It just makes you think, wow, I'm not gonna be around forever. I really should start taking care of things. I'm, I feel young. I don't feel 41 years old. I feel like I'm still like an 18 year old, but I'm not. I'm a 41 year old man. I've gotta start taking better care of myself. I have to start eating better. That's a big plan once I move to Florida, Florida is to start eating a lot better, eating at home more, things like that. I do plan on doing that and um, exercising and just taking care of myself, taking care of other things, making sure my son will be taken care of once I pass away, all sorts of things like that that you really got to start thinking about. And at the age of 41, these are things I really got to start thinking about. But anyway, with that being said, let's go get a steak sandwich, Sam, to clog those arteries. So yes, in case you're wondering, I have been saying steak sandwich and not cheese steak. I actually don't really like cheese on my my steak sandwiches. I've tried it, eh, not really not really a fan. Can't say I, I enjoy steak on my, or no, I don't enjoy steak on my cheese sandwiches. I don't enjoy dyslexia, that I don't enjoy, but I don't enjoy cheese on my steak sandwiches. I just get them plain, no, no peppers, no sauce, no nothing, just good old chopped up steak instead of Instead of, instead of roll, it's delicious. And we're here at Bravo Pizza to get myself some, uh, some delicious steak put into a roll. Getting a steak sandwich. Again, clogging those arteries. Steak sandwich and, and soda has been, has been gotten. Did I mention I need to start eating better? I so need to start eating better. Also, another reason why I need to start eating at home is because, I mean, not this is, this is crazy expensive, but it was like $13 for all this. I could get like, I could eat like three of these if I ate at home for like $13, right? I can make my own, I can make my own steak sandwiches, couldn't I? You could buy steak, yeah. I, I do, <laughs> I'm, I'm getting excited now, yeah. I do wanna get a, a flat top grill. So I could, I could make my own steak sandwiches at home, right? I could totally do that. You know what? In Florida, I'm making steak sandwiches, well, I mean, I know that goes against eating healthier, but whatever, it'll be at least cheaper. Please take note of the fact that I said I'm eating healthier. I did not say I'm eating healthy, just eating healthy, healthier. Oh my gosh. Oh, <laughs> the smell of this is so good. You know, I've had steak sandwiches from, from all over. I only started eating steak sandwiches a couple of years ago. And um, I, I've told this story before, but the reason why I did not eat them is because when I was a kid, I had a steak sandwich, it was terrible. And I just kind of assumed that's how steak sandwiches tasted. I'm, I'm, I'm drooling, I'm salivating. I kind of just assumed that's how take, steak sandwiches tasted. And it turns out that, um, no, that's just how that steak sandwich sandwich tastes. This one here is delicious. It's, it's all about what, what meat you use. And um, since I've been eating these again over, like, over the last X amount of years, I've had many steak sandwiches. These are the only ones I really enjoy. I've had ones that were okay. I've had many that were terrible, like the one I had when I was a kid, but, um, Right here, Bravo Pizza in Limerick, Pennsylvania. The only place that makes a steak sandwich that I absolutely love. I love them so much, I'm gonna eat it in the car right now. I'm not even gonna take it home. <laughs> it's gonna make a mess, but I don't care. This is amazing. All right, so I'm getting eating healthier. So back home now, and I've got Is that fireworks in the distance? What, what the heck was that? Anyway, back home now, and um, I've got packing to do. And as you can see, I've already begun to pack. So if you're wondering how I plan on sleeping in the van on the way down to Florida, I'm gonna have to literally open up the back doors, climb into the bed from the back, and then care, somehow carefully close the doors behind me. I cannot actually enter my van through the side door. I cannot get from the front to the back. That's not, that's not happening. I have so much stuff packed up. I got all my Figment merchandise packed up, my, my, my collectibles, my, my Figment collections packed up, my Spice Girl collections packed up. I got some of my movies packed up. I have other stuff I'm taking down packed up. I do have a good majority of um, my non-collection stuff already down in Florida. Really the only thing here is um, some clothing and like toiletries and stuff. Most of the most of my other stuff, my other clothes I don't usually wear or um, anything else I, I own that I I wanted to take down to Florida is already down there. It's just mostly my collection I'm working on now. So yeah, this is uh, 
this is what I've packed thus far over the week. I still have more stuff to pack. Um, actually, my Spice Girl merchandise is not in here yet because I do have some Spice Girl chocolate bars in my collection and did not want to keep them in the van in fear that they might melt. So they've been in the garage, in the nice cool garage being just fine. But i um, gonna put all my Spice Girl stuff in here. And then honestly, after the Spice Girl stuff is in here, I'm just gonna probably go back down into the library and just just pick stuff. Like, oh, I can fit a, you know, a movie projector in here or I can fit this thing in. I'm just, I'm just gonna start throwing stuff in. I, I just, I need to take as much stuff as possible. I, it needs to be completely filled because I have so much stuff to take down. So anyway, that's my plan. I'm gonna go uh, eat some more M&Ms, you know, again, to keep healthy. And then um, just pack, pack the van up. That's, um, that's the fun, fun of today. Okay, guys, I think I am all packed up, or at least as packed up as I possibly can be. I, I literally have the entire van completely filled. Look, look, look at this. The only thing really left open is the bed, and honestly, the bed isn't even all that left open. I have some things kind of on the... Uh, on the back of the bed here where I don't necessarily need to sleep. You can see it's all packed up in there. I basically left this little space kind of open here because if I pack something there, as soon as I hit the gas pedal, it's all gonna fly back onto the bed. So I, I kind of packed everything in such a way that it's all sort of crammed in there and, and holding itself in place. I hope we'll, we'll find out the entire um, under the bed area is completely packed. I I have this thing full. This is, this is as full as I can possibly get the, I hate, hate this Disney. I hate your magnet. Does not stick. Anyway, so as you can see, completely packed. My arcade one up is in there and just all, all kinds of things in these boxes. I even have, I'm not gonna open this up too much. I even have stuff crammed, crammed up there. Ugh. Crammed up there as well. So Vanabelle, Vanabelle is packed. She is packed to the gills. Like I said, I don't think I can fit much more, much more inside there. And I think I'm done. So with that, I'm going to let you guys go because I'm going to go take a nap, get my son from school and then hit the road. That is the, uh, that is the plan. But I hopefully want to get at least a little nap in between, between now and, and hitting the road because it's going to be a long, long drive to Florida. So, all right, guys, there you go. That's that was my crazy day today of running errands and getting this van completely packed up. I cannot believe how much stuff I actually fit inside there. Now to take it all to Florida. Fun, all right, and then, and then unpack it once I get to Florida. But all right, guys, that's gonna do it. So if you've ever had a crazy move like this where you didn't hire somebody, you kind of moved it all yourself, leave your comments down below. Let me know about how much fun of a task that was because I'm not finding this to be very much fun at all, but all right, guys, that's gonna do it. So um, as always, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, check down below for links to Patreon. If you guys do become a patron, I will send you a postcard every single month from the road. Also check down below for a link to Spreadshirt, where you can grab yourself retro rest stop t-shirts, proceeds, both from Spreadshirt and from Patreon to help support the show and they keep the show going. So I really do appreciate it. And if you guys watch this video all the way until the very end, hashtag, um, Hashtag Vanabelle is stuffed. There you go. Hashtag Vanabelle is stuffed. If you guys watch this video all the way until the very end, she is very, very full right now. All right, guys. So like I said, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And if you do hit that subscribe button or you are subscribed, then I will see you guys in tomorrow's video from somewhere along the East Coast. I'm hoping to make it maybe to North Carolina tonight. That that might be a little maybe pushing it um maybe for just virginia we'll we'll see i'm hoping i'm hoping for the border of north carolina but uh again we'll we'll see how that goes all right guys so like i said thanks for watching hit the like button hit the subscribe button i will see you guys in tomorrow's video i'm gonna go take a nap all right thanks for watching bye